Quick update on the BMW, sorry my hands are kind of full. Someone commented that it could be like a fuel pump issue, I have to double check on exactly what he said, but fuel pump, we'll start there. All right, so we are headed to the shop today, guys. Exciting, exciting day. If you guys would have missed yesterday's video, we got a new car in the shop. Uh, super, super stoked to get my hands, uh, I guess, just start diving into it, I guess I should say. Today, we're gonna kind of go ahead, and I, I, haven't even really look I haven't even really looked at the car. Yesterday, bought it, it was pitch black. Went to got to the shop when we delivered it at like one, and I didn't stay there for long because I mean, I was up to like 4.30 last night, editing. <laughs> so, uh, but hey, it is what it is, you know what I mean? Uh, daily video grind, I love it. I don't know if it's just me, but new rap man, pretty shit. Why, hello there. All right, so I actually did a little bit of uh, musical cars, moved her over as far over to the shop as we can, so we have a fully open work bay here. Uh, Jordan and Ryan are coming by tonight, I think for oil changes and stuff like that. Um, however, I think the first thing that this car deserves and very much needs is a nice bath. So we're gonna go ahead and give her a nice little detail. First thing, you know what I mean? Treat her, treat her right here, because it's probably been months since she she's seen any sort of any sort of soap, so uh, let's get this paint shining. Is there soap coming out of this hose? What is this? So, I just finished washing this thing and I've probably been looking at it for the past 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm like trying to find something wrong with it, as weird as that sounds, it's just like so clean for what I got it for. Now, I did notice uh, just a little little dent up here on the hood, or on the roof, nothing major. Uh, there was also, where was it, little chip here on the fender, barely noticeable. I mean, that's looking, that's looking too good. And also, yeah, I, I did mention this in the last video, but these headlights, same from Diablo, the same. So this is gonna be like the first time, both for you and me, guys, that I've been actually able to take like a close look at this thing, because at night, I, I couldn't see a single thing. So it was kind of risky buying, I don't like buying cars at night, but it was like the only time during that day that we could have gotten the whole deal done. And uh, honestly, nothing that has caught my eye that I'm like bummed about. So today, I'm just gonna kind of go around the whole freaking car, and I guess, I guess we're gonna get familiar with the damn thing because it's all new to me. Like everything inside, I, I couldn't find the door handle last night. I was trapped, but I need to clean the inside still. I need to wait on a vacuum, but like getting in here, man, this is, this is nice, dude. This is really nice. Everything is factory, everything works. You have your awesome kind of controls up here. Even the AC works. The AC works. This is, well, Damper it, sure. Dude, and these carpets, they're like, they're plug here. These seats are so snug, man. The T-tops, by the way, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but these things are absolutely epic. But just look how awesome the door panels are. Cruise control works, fog lights work. This is super cool. It feels smaller in here than the 240 as far as like length. It is, they do make a two plus two. What do we got in here? Does this open? Oh, 
All right, so that just opens like that. This is kind of, if any of you guys have a new one or one that like isn't kind of, this one feels a little broken or something. So if you guys want to help me out, hook me up. Um, again, we're, we're just getting familiar today, gentlemen. And tomorrow we will dive into some work on this thing. There's one thing we really kind of have to address. And uh, then we'll get this thing registered and on the road. So we're getting, getting, giving her a little detail, giving her some love. Automatic, of course. But, I mean, this is, this is not really an issue. Um, then obviously, we're going to be swapping it. Yeah, I am, however, gonna focus on aesthetic stuff first. So, if there's any companies out there or anyone that's like able to hook it up, let me know. Because, uh, first off, you guys heard me say in yesterday's video that I need to sell the BMW um, before I kind of dive real deep into this thing because I could definitely use the money for the mods. But, I mean, I'm super excited. It's got a Bose sound system. Like, what? Uh, T-tops. Let's 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 show you guys how these work. These are awesome. So you basically just have to hold that up. You can actually lock them too and hold it. Pump that out. Little lever right there. And I think my thing the windows have to be down. And then check it out. The summertime, these things are gonna be sick. And with a little RB screaming in the background. Oh yeah, sure. This is gonna be real good. Since we're since we're talking about the T-tops, we also have the OG original leather bags for the t-top it would be really cool to do the leather swap on the interior it would be also cool maybe if we could maybe do like a suede kind of diy wrapped center console and stuff like that if you guys would be interested in seeing some interior modifications like some diy stuff that you guys can do at home to your own car uh let me know and then we can go ahead and figure something out so now i guess going talking about the exterior what the plans are oh first off huge huge things about the car here uh, it's it's definitely been undercoated twice in its life, and that's an old sticker. And then in 2016, just recently, the thing was undercoated at rust check. So this thing is literally completely rust free. It's even got the factory mud flaps on it, dude. Like this is crazy. This this car is, has not been touched with at all, and I love that. So I'm thinking for like exterior, because I want to kind of mess with the exterior first. It runs and drives perfectly fine. And I don't want to mess with any motor swap stuff until we're able to drive the 240 again because then obviously you know what I mean like we can have kind of a car in the meantime while the whole swap is going down. And if you guys missed yesterday's video we were talking about probably swapping a little RB in here. I think that would be an insane swap. We were talking about maybe doing the 20 or the 25. I have the 25 on a stand right here and I'm probably leaning towards doing the 25 just because the RB20 in my car, in the, well, in the S13 is so perfect to the fact that I really don't want to mess with it and I literally got it to this point, like with this turbo, with the tune, uh, last June or something like that. So not long ago at all, this thing is is awesome. I don't really want to mess with it. Really dirty, by the way, so it definitely looks a whole lot nicer when she's clean. Don't want to yank it out. We put a lot of time, a lot of effort into this setup. It kind of it would kind of be unfortunate just to just rip it out. This is a little bigger girl, you know what I mean? She might need a little bit more juice, so we'll kind of kind of lean towards that guy going in here. What are you guys thinking for wheels now? I'm probably gonna, it's, it's probably gonna be the kind of same setup with my, like, as in my car, just nice meaty fitment. However, I don't know, should we, should we kind of maybe make it a little stancy? I don't know, I'm kind of open to suggestions. First couple mods, like bigger mods, coilovers and wheels probably are gonna be, or if not coilovers, like some adjustable form of suspension. I was thinking about it, I don't know if I really want to even do coilovers because I don't really want to make the ride crap. I'm not saying, honestly, the, the stance coilovers in my 240 are really, really good. Stance, hey, help a brother out. But for real, I want to keep this car nice. It's so good the way it is. I saw this video of, uh, I, apparently you can make these things sound like an R35 GTR. And literally, like if you closed your eyes, and heard that video, you would think it was an R35. So I don't know, maybe we might, if we plan on keeping this motor for a little bit, which, I mean, at least till the spring, summertime, who knows, maybe we'll do some exhaust stuff. I guess we'll, you know, start checking some stuff out here because again, this is, this is the first time for both you and me here. I, this is all, this is all new. Last night I never really dove into it. It's crazy. This, this hood is way lighter than the 240's hood. There it is, the heart of the beast and um, all this, all this grease stuff, that's like what the undercoating stuff is. Um, it is kind of unfortunate, they went pretty gnarly, <laughs> they went pretty gnarly with it. When we take this motor out, we're definitely gonna paint the engine bay and do it properly. Like this is, we're not cutting any corners here, so we'll, uh, we'll get there when we get there, but cruise control works, 
This is like some weird, sketchy pet pet boys kind of just sketchiness. I'm stoked I didn't buy another 240. Like I bought so many of those things, I'm glad I didn't buy another. It's time to dive into something new. Now I guess one of the one of the bigger problems, and I say bigger, this is not really a big problem, is the front bumper. It is kind of cracked and messed up. Now I'm thinking, is there like a JDM version of this bumper that's like kind of more aggressive? I think a nice lip. I really actually, I kind of want to get this car looking pretty low. Like I think these look so aggressive when they're nice and low. However, I still want it to be functional, that's the thing. So I want it to look low, but still aggressive, still drivable, not something where I'm gonna beach myself every two seconds. Airlift, air suspension would, I guess, be a route, but I'm not trying to spend $4,000 on an air suspension kit. Like, that's new. If, if, if they're trying to hook me up, help, help a brother out, totally down to do it. However, I'm not gonna do that on my own, if you kind of get what I'm saying. What do you think? What do you think? Did I lock it? Yeah. What? Nah, no, come on, bro. Twist that. What do you? What do you think? Wow. How do you feel? This is cool. This Isn't is it? Something new. Isn't it clean, dude? It looks so much different than everything we have here. I know. Hey, dude, sick Lambo light. Dude, I got my Diablo light. Clean as hell. Yeah, pop, pop in. Tell me, tell me, those seats are not the most comfortable seats you've ever sat in. <laughs> Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's got flow, and you got T-tops. Wow. It's mint. Like, I don't like convertibles, but when it's a T-top, it's no. just right here. This is gonna be That's super fun. cool. With an RB screaming. Yeah. Oh man, oh man. Is there a badge up here? Or is it no, badge? so there's supposed to be a badge right here. Yeah, little like, little Nissan like badge. That, but... You know, I'll put a Honda badge on it. You got one? You got a spare yeah, Honda badge for me? Yeah. Appreciate yeah. you. It's like our badge. Oh, okay, perfect. That's, on Zach. That's nice Jordan. The f oh, it has a factory spare in it, dude. What is? Wait, what is that? The tire is literally painted on. What is that? That can't be mold. It's it's very hard. It has the 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 dealership certified by Nissan excellence in quality sticker right there. That is staying on the car. It has a rear mounted reservoir. Yeah, I know. I saw that. I was like, oh, what is this? It's gotta be close to eight billion. Got dangling peeves. All right, wait. So. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, here we are. Uh, another day. With the another Marcus day. Superman. Here we are. We're just coming in and just cutting this. Yeet. Just giving her. Oh, 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 oh. Will oh, she do it? Oh, oh, oh. Eight. Hey, no, oh, just tease hey, it. Tease oh, it. Hey. Uh -huh. Yeah. We're pulling the motor in like a minute, anyways. So mm. today, another pulled motor. That's right. Not my life, actually. That's Kadani's life. Who's Kadani? Kadani is the Subaru god, even though he drives an Evo now. <laughs> wow, that's. <laughs> he he actually he put this motor in with me. If you haven't seen that video, go to our channel. Why don't you go check it out? Or you can just wait Shameless a month plug. and you'll we'll probably see it again. Probably will happen again here. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, so to finish off today's video, guys, we're going to talk a little bit about this thing, kind of what the plans are for it, because, yes, we have this. Initially, I was going to put it in my car. However, now, now we have a... Yes, we have this old gal. This won't really go in until the springtime. Uh, I really kind of want to start working on it, however, but it's going to involve disassembling it, uh, semi-building the block. We'll do forged pistons, we'll do forged rods, uh, bearings, stuff like that, ARP head studs, head gasket. Uh, probably put some cams in it. Head work, we'll kind of see maybe some mild porting. Probably end goals will probably to make like five to seven hundred we that sounds so crazy And as far as turbo like I actually heard that Garrett went out of business And there's one company that bought them all and they actually are selling their basically GTX core They are GTX cores, but for way cheaper. They just don't say Garrett on them So I might kind of look into that and hopefully some companies out there are able to kind of help support the build um, That would make things a whole lot easier and a whole lot less stressful because we do have to sell the E36 To kind of get mods really rolling. We're gonna start diving into this thing deep and we have a lot on the plate for all the other cars we have we have paint for the kooky to get the engine bay painted can you keep it down over there Sorry, my no nah, i'm just no nah, I'm, I'm just uh march 24th and 25th we will all be at import lens in atlanta um come hang out let's say what's up um come buy a sticker in person good i was, just about, I was gonna I say that? that i was gonna say but that i can speak for you right sure um we're gonna try and bring this thing down there with the full swap already done. He's gonna be driving it because it he has be no swapped. car. It'll, um, it won't be swapped. It will not be swapped. But he's gonna be driving Hopefully with the target. Hopefully, it might be a little stancy. We're, we're all gonna be like super jealous of like his hair. I will be jealous mind. of the target. I'm, yeah. Um, yeah. We can swap. Yeah, 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 yeah. You might just run shot. So, if you cannot trust me, to drive your baby. See, what you guys think? What are you doing? 
You going sledding? Are you going sledding, dude? Does it look like I'm going sledding? Yes. Uh, yeah. So this this is I, I told all right. So if you guys are unaware, we are going. Wait, actually, we already told them. Go to Import Alliance. This car should be going. However, it's not going because Subaru. Because um, Subaru does Subaru things. So, so I'm thinking maybe let Ryan take this old gal. Ooh. You know, we'll kind of see. I'm, I'm thinking she should she should be good. She she is good. And um, yeah. So if all goes planned, she will be joining us in Atlanta as well. All right, a little final touch to the old deal gal here. Van Brunt, I'm sure you were a great guy. Appreciate you for selling this car to whoever bought it, but you've been on there for 28 years, and yeah, time to come off. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Look at this. Do you guys see that? Sticker is off. It's sun. This thing has definitely been on here for over 20 years. That whole trim panel, I guess, is supposed to be black, because uh, as you can see, we still got the color under that B. All right, this is this is this is this is bull crap. I'm in here playing with everything. If this, if you guys are aware of what this problem is, so basically you can turn the brights on. When you turn them off, they don't always come on unless you kind of mess with them. So is it is it the actual indicator stock that's a problem, or do you guys think it's like a wiring issue? Let me know because apparently they also come on like when you're driving just randomly. So wouldn't be exactly too convenient. So let me know if you guys have any idea. I think it's probably just. The lever. We did a mod. We took off the mud flaps. First mod. <laughs> I don't know if you call that a mod. But no, for real, tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and dive real deep into this thing. And we also have a lot on the plate as far as other, I mean, obviously you guys, you guys see this shop. I mean, there's, there is stuff going on here. So appreciate it as always guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are not yet subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Stay notified. Links are in the description for Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. So make sure you guys stay updated and post it up on the social media. You guys will definitely get a better notification system as far as when videos go up, when to expect them, what's coming behind the scenes stuff. So that's going to be it for tonight, guys. It's late. We're headed out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll be back here, obviously, working on this old gem and um, probably other things as well. So I'll see you guys then. 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Have a good night, guys. Later.